Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this lecture, we will talk about some other important operators. Now, we will first take a look type of operator. Type of operator mostly used to check the type of its operand. So, the type of operator returns string representing the type of its operand. Unfortunately, type of operator doesn't exactly map to the 7 data type in JavaScript. The 7 data types are undefined, null, boolean, numbers, string, symbol, and object. So, which has causes no end of confusion. So, let's take an example and understand how type of operator work. If you wanted to find out type of a variable, then this operator help you out. So if you have one, then using type of operator, you can find out its type like this. I will say type of and specify one here. Now the result would be number. Then we specify the string using type of operator and specify daily here in the double quote. Then you will get a string on the console. Right? We also have a boolean expression. So we'll say type of true. So the result would be boolean. And we also have a null type. So I will say type of null. Now what is the result? When you execute this statement, the result would be object. Yes, that's true. Type of operator return object when you check the null data type. It usually refer to as a bug because null is not an object. Of course, it is primitive data type. It has been suggested many times that it fix, but too much existing code is already built on this behavior. So just memorize this as an exception. You can also get the type of the function like this, type of and specify the function. The result would be function. Don't worry, we will talk about functions in the future lectures. So now let's move to the next very interesting operator which is comma. Comma operators simply provide a simple way to separate expression just like this. If we create two variables, we use let y is equal to 40, comma x is equal to 10. So here we use comma operator to separate two different variables. As simple as that. After that, we have grouping operator also. So the grouping operator is parenthesis. Parenthesis used to specify order of the operation. We will use grouping operator to specify operator precedence. We will talk about this in the future lectures. So don't worry, we will cover everything step by step. Now the next operator is void. You think this operator is useless because this operator has only one job. So this operator will evaluate its operand and return undefined. This operator used when you wanted to return undefined value. So where do you use it? There is a different situation where you can use this operator. Suppose if you wanted to create an anchor tag in HTML and when you click on the anchor tag link, the browser will take you to the another page. To prevent this behavior, I will just use the following code. I will just declare anchor tag with href attribute and then in the double quote, I will say javascript colon void operator and specify 0 and then specify your anchor tag text as simple as that right i hope you understand this lecture in the next tutorial we will learn the last operator of the javascript tutorial series this operator is new in ecmascript 6 so we will talk about this operator in the next tutorial that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial.